Tips for weight loss that actually work. Over the years, you've probably heard your fair share of wacky weight loss advice. Whether it's to drink celery juice every day or replace your meals with weight loss, cookies. Often those tips are promoted by people without any health expertise, so if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But just as there's a ton of misguided weight loss advice out there to be avoided, there are also a lot of legitimate, research-backed, and expert-approved suggestions for people who are in the right mental health space and have weight loss as a personal goal. Here are some more expert-approved and science-backed tips that can help you achieve and maintain a healthy weight. 1. Eat slowly. I have my clients learn how to choose foods they like, really taste each morsel going into their mouths, and chew deliberately. I advise them to chew slowly, swallow only when the food is all chewed up, and repeat. It takes time to know we're full. Eating slowly not only allows us to enjoy our food more but gives us better cues of satiety. 2. Enjoy the food you eat. So often we're told what to eat, and then when we don't like that specific food, we're less apt to create long-term healthy habits. Try new fruits and vegetables. Find out how to prepare new dishes that provide variety and flavor. Add herbs and spices to elevate flavor. Or if you prefer, savor the sweetness of fruit and the depth of raw and steamed vegetables there's no reason that your relationship with food can't be pleasurable three keep a daily gratitude journal our eating habits are sometimes connected to our emotions whether we realize it or not when we're stressed we may use food to help cope with the stress i work with clients on keeping a daily journal of things they're grateful for or even just a journal to write in when stressed so that they're better prepared to cope with the stress by acknowledging it and utilizing other tools, rather than reaching for food as a coping mechanism. 4. Batch cook and prep. Every Sunday I batch cook enough chicken for the week. I cut off the fat, bake it with seasoning, measure 3.5 ounces, and put that much into a container with some mustard and frozen veggies, so I can grab one a day to bring to work. I also take the time to divvy up in individual containers one quarter cup of rolled oats, one tablespoon each of natural peanut butter, and ground flax, and a pinch each of protein powder and cinnamon to sweeten. So when I'm a zombie in the morning, all I need to do is add water and microwave. 5. Don't forget the weights. Make sure you are lifting weights two or three times a week. Using moderate to heavy weights three or four sets of 10 to 15 reps with weights that challenge you, helps increase your muscle mass. When you have more muscle on your body, the food you eat is more likely to be utilized as fuel, rather than be stored as fat. 6. Get enough Zs. A lack of sleep increases your hunger hormone, ghrelin, and decreases your satisfaction hormone, leptin, which can contribute to weight gain. When we are sleep deprived, we crave more salty and sweet foods. Why? Because anytime you feel more intense hunger, your cravings for higher energy aka higher calorie foods intensify. We also know that the way we think and process our emotions is affected by inadequate sleep. So it's easy to connect this with an impaired ability to make reasonable choices in many areas of life, including with food. 7. Don't skip meals. Remember, our body's ultimate goal is to stay alive. As soon as we are being kept from calories, which are literally the life energy for our bodies, it will do things to survive. Our body knows what foods are higher in energy density, and we will crave those more. Honor your hunger and don't allow your body to think it's being starved. This goes against many of the dieting tactics, but those tactics truly don't work well for people in the long term. I generally recommend eating every 4 hours. 8. Stay hydrated. Research has found that people who drank 2 glasses of water before a meal lost more weight than people who didn't drink water before meals, and they kept it off. This simple tip works in two ways. Thirst can mask itself as hunger, causing you to eat more. And water makes you feel fuller, causing you to eat less during a meal. 9. Cut calories, not flavor. By choosing options such as sharp cheddar over mild cheddar, you can use less. But you'll still get a lot of flavor without feeling like you're on a diet. 10. Reorganize your plate. Make half your plate vegetables, a quarter of your plate whole grains, and a quarter of your plate lean protein. When you switch the portions of grains and vegetables on your plate, you'll see a difference. The only caveat, potatoes, corn, and peas are starchy vegetables, so they go in the grains category. 11. Start where you are and do what you can. 
don't feel like you need to overhaul your entire life starting immediately. Assess where you are currently and then figure out where you'd like to be in the future. A great starting point for mostly sedentary people is to get a step counter and see how much you walk on a normal day. Then set a step goal slightly higher than the norm and strive for that. Working your way up slowly to a goal of 10,000 steps per day. 12. Think big, not small. Focus on the weight loss, big rocks. There are a few areas that will give you the most bang for your buck when you're trying to lose weight. Prioritizing those and letting go of all the minutiae that contribute to overwhelm will make reaching your goals feel easier. And more sustainable. On the nutrition front, pay attention to calories, protein, and fiber. For exercise, prioritize strength training, daily steps, and recovery. 13. Look beyond the scale. While the scale isn't useless, it also isn't the only thing that matters. To help you gauge progress that might not be reflected on the scale, take regular photos and measurements. In addition to keeping a running list of non-scale victories. This will help keep the scale in perspective and show you all the positive changes you're making to your health and overall lifestyle. 14. Give your breakfast a protein boost. Aim for 15 to 25 grams of protein at breakfast. Protein is digested slowly and suppresses hunger hormones, helping keep you full. Additionally, a high-protein breakfast helps curb cravings later in the day. Pair protein foods with fiber and healthy fats, like two eggs with whole wheat toast and avocado or high-protein. Frozen waffles with nuts, berries, and a little maple syrup. 15. In fact, consume protein at every meal. Eating protein-rich foods at every meal, especially breakfast, can help shave extra pounds. Protein slows down the digestive process and positively impacts your hunger hormones. Protein can also do better at staving off hunger than carbohydrates. Protein-rich foods include quinoa, edamame, beans, seeds, nuts, eggs, yogurt, cheese, tofu, lentil pasta, poultry, fish, and meat. If you find this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.